Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to turn your side view into a front three quarter in really easy steps. For this video, we're going to rotate that car without dealing with perspective yet. Perspective is very complicated. We're going to cover a lot of other videos about perspective, but for now, this is a cool thing that we can go from a side view to a three quarter without dealing with perspective. Here we have the side view and what we want to do is just rotate it. Again, we're not going into perspective like this or like that or like that. Like we're just rotating it flat. So we're going from this view to that view. Remember on that side view where I taught you how to do wheels in between each wheel and how to proportion the car correctly? If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It'll be right here in the description. Once we, you check out that video, you understand the car proportion and the easiest way to get started with a side view, then jump into this video where we're gonna learn how to rotate that side view to a front three quarter. So what exactly happens when you go from a side view to a front three quarter? Let's go with a very easy side view line drawing so you understand what's happening when the car is rotating and the lines that you need to pay attention to, what you need to keep in mind. It's important for you to understand that we're not gonna have a finalized product. We're working on the fundamentals and base for you to be able to create your own sketches in the future. So be patient with me. Today we're just gonna learn how to go and rotate the car a little bit. We're not gonna finalize super detail, finalize the wheels, everything. We're just gonna rotate the car for you to understand how it's done and what pieces need to move for that to happen. So I always sketch with pencil. For you to see it better on camera, I'm gonna use markers this time. I'm gonna use a red marker to do the side view and then I'm gonna, with black markers, I'll put the rotated side view so you can see like the front three quarter. So I'm gonna go with red to do the side view. So one tire. Like that, like that, nice and quick, okay? I'm not spending a lot of time on this because I just want you to understand what's happening. So we have a car right there, a beautiful, wonderful car. You have the back side tires, or the tires on the opposite side, you have the back of your car. And then what we're gonna do is, when we rotate it, the side view is gonna shrink a little bit, so your front tire is gonna move forward a little bit. Your floor is gonna stay the same. Your front tire can stay in the same place. Your back side of the cabin is gonna move forward. The back side of your car is gonna move forward. And then this line, we're just gonna extend it a little bit. So now we see the front of the car. How cool is that? Nice and simple. And now your tire that was right next to on the opposite side, instead of still being like right there attached, is gonna slide forward because the car is rotating and then the front tire on the opposite side is going to slide forward as well but not as much as the other tire right and just like that you went from a side view to a front three quarter the advantage of doing something like that is that now you can start adding headlights and you can have a grill you can have like fog lamps like all those details that you wouldn't see on the side view, now you have them, you can show them on, on this view. I hope this helps. We're doing some very basic stuff. The idea is for you to understand the basics and the foundation before we move into things that are a little more complex. This just looks boring, simple box, but I believe me, once you learn that and master this, you're gonna be able to move forward a lot easier. Every video I try to tell you something new about me. The first time I showed up to the Art Center College of Design Gallery, I was blown away by the things I was looking at. And the fact that five years later, I actually had three of my designs going to that gallery, it, it was a huge satisfaction. So hopefully I can give you some tips on how to become a better designer and you can learn a lot from me. So the first project that got me into the Art Center College of Design Gallery was a speed form. A speed form is basically, I'm trying to hide so it focus on the speed form in my head, a speed form is the first time that you generate a sketch and turn it into a 3D object that um, actually has volume and it's something that you can actually physically grab with your hands. It was created in clay, then we created a plaster mold and then we made a fiberglass out of it. So this is one of the few things that still survive time because my clay models, they just don't last that long. Tomorrow we have a pretty cool car show, so I'm gonna take a ride and just show you around and show you the different things because you might think that 
since I'm in Houston, I'm in Houston, okay, I'm in Houston, Texas, and you might think that all we have around here is pickup trucks. And yes, we do have a lot of pickup trucks everywhere, but there's also a super cool car culture. You can find everything, sports cars, supercars, classic cars, muscle cars, everything. We have everything in Houston. And um, why don't we go for a ride and I'll show you some of the cars that we have over here. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. So, will I change your plans? I know it was going to rain. I was going to a car show. So if you go to a car show and it's raining, one, you don't take a motorcycle. Two, all the nice cars don't like to come out when it's raining because even if it dries out, the floor is wet and they have like super clean engines and suspensions and all that stuff. So they won't take them out when it's raining. Can you take me Okay, so I, saw, I thought nobody was going to be here because it rained, but apparently it cleared out and we have some cars. So let me show you. This is Woodlands Cars and Coffee. Survivor Center. Hey, I'm Amanda. I'm the manager. Canopy is a cancer survivorship center on campus at Memorial Hermann. We're only one of two in the whole state and we provide free programming and services to cancer yes. patients and survivors and their families regardless of where they receive their treatment from. So thank you guys for having thank us Thank you. Out. Thank you for coming out. Absolutely. It's a fun time and thank you Rodrigo for yeah, being here. Thank you Good. And Bye what I'll do is I'll put a link of everything that they're talking about and everything. I'll put it on the description so you guys can see it. Thank you everybody for yes, being thank out you. here. For thank, you. Great thank you. Thank you for coming. Happy Thank you for always inviting me. Yes. And here's the people that is hiding behind the camera. They don't want to be bothered. <laughs> so we won't bother them. We won't film them. We just leave them alone, okay? <laughs> Every picture he's in again. Give me your picture face. <laughs> I don't have a picture face. Yeah. One cool thing I've been noticing since I started this videos, it's really good because it reminds me what it is like not to know a subject and struggle with it. So doing this videos has reminded me like when I started sketching, you get intimidated. You see someone else's sketches and you are like, those are so good. How can I get that good? And really, besides watching videos, practicing, it's time. Time, there's nothing you can do about that. You just have to put in your time, sit down, sketch as much as you can, and you'll get better every time. Even today, I do a lot of custom renderings for clients and I feel like each one I make is my best one. So the next one is gonna be my best one and you keep learning from that previous one. Another thing that I've noticed is that I watch a tutorial about how to make a video and I start doing it and there's a bunch of other tutorials that don't make sense to me. But once I start doing it, I run into some trouble. So once I start doing it, the important thing is start doing it, then you realize, you know what, I'm stuck here. How do I solve this problem? And this, that's when you go into the tutorials and you realize, oh, now that makes sense. So now I understand why they're giving me that step that didn't make sense at all. So that's why I'm trying to teach you all different basic steps, like line weight, line drawing, proportion, all those things that you're gonna be like, ah, I don't need that, and you skip that. And then later, you're gonna be like, well, I, my lines look good, my coloring is good, but my proportions are a little bit off. So that's when you go back to that video, you kind of relearn that again. And the more you do it, the more, it's kind of like when you watch a movie over and over again, you get like those subtle things that you didn't get at the first time around. So this will happen again. I think it is important right now, if a tutorial do doesn't make sense, just click in the one that makes sense to you. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna be coming back because that's what's happening to me. And um, you get so, mo so much out of that. I would love to see how after watching this video, you sit down and get sketching. 
On this channel, I'm going to teach you everything I know about car design and car sketching. And I'm going to include many other subjects, interviews, design schools. So if you haven't subscribed, please click now. And um, that way you will hear from me every week. I'm going to come up with a new video to show you something different. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week with another video.